Welcome to Mastering and Guide Learning Ultrasound and Echo. From pathophysiology aspect, MR can be divided to the structural and functional. The structural, we have some uh, pathology on the leaflets. On the functional, the uh, structure and function of the leaflet almost is normal, but there is some problem on the subvalvular apertus, including coordinating papillary muscle and left ventricle walls. Functional can be divided in two groups, LV functional MR and LA functional uh, MR. In LV functional MR, two main uh, problem or disease can uh, cause functional MR, ischemic heart disease and dilated cardiomyopathy. In dilated cardiomyopathy, we have dilated ring of the mitral valve, so coaptation defect, and they cannot coaptate very well. Is it another uh, lecture for uh, dilated cardiomyopathy? I'm going to talk about that. Uh, on coronary artery disease, we have uh, one of those uh, popular muscle or related wall has some uh, malfunction due, due to the ischemia. In LA, we have two top uh, disorders. One of them are AFib, isolated AFib, and another diastolic dysfunction. About 2 to 50 percent of patients after MI in one to four weeks, they will have some degree of functional MR. And 50 percent of the patient with CHF diastolic dysfunction, they will have some degree of the MR, functional MR. And 5 to 10 percent of the patient with isolated AFib will have MR. Since the entity of the ischemic functional MR is unique. Some specialists prefer to use the term of chronic ischemic MR instead of the functional MR. We have to remember that the functional MR due to the ischemia can happen in both group, non STM and STM type. Doesn't matter, the incidence of MR in both of them are the same. And another important uh, subject is that, remember, one-third of the patient with ischemic functional MR with moderate to severe, and half of the patient with mild MR, you cannot detect murmur by a stethoscope. We have two type of the ischemic uh, functional MR, asymmetric symmetry. Asymmetry usually happen when the um, medial uh, papillary muscle involved, posteromedial papillary muscle involved mean when we have myocardial infarction in inferior or postero, uh, uh, posterior or infralateral. At this level, we have ischemic heart disease. In that situation, the combination of the pooling uh, papillary muscle and cordial tendinary toward the apex and uh, expanding or moving wall outside and pulling annulus at the posterior mitral valve uh, level and tenting the anterior mitral valve uh, by the normal anterolateral papillary muscle. It decreases cooptation and create a pseudo prolapse in on posterior and final result will be a, a eccentric lateral uh, MR. On the symmetric ischemic uh, MR, we have uh, globally uh, tethering on both of the mitral valve anterior and posterior and enlargement of the annulus and increasing the tenting lens the distance of tip of the cooptation to the annulus uh, access ring. So all of them cause kind of the uh, central lost cooptation and create a central jet. In functional MR due to AFib or LA functional MR, we have dilatation of the or increasing the circumferential of the mitral valve annulus, and uh, depending on the severity and how much enlargement, those uh, the cooptation depth little by little decreased. Don't forget, cooptation is not one point. Usually, 
in the normal situation is up to one centimeter those two uh, leaflet anterior and posterior they touch each other in the normal with increasing ring its cooptation depth decrease finally they cannot reach each other and create uh, jets that since it is uh, almost equal in a circumferential increased so cooptation and jet uh, decrease in central way and we will have a usually central jet unless there is some other company of the degeneration uh, or fibro fibroelastic degeneration calcification fibrosis it can change a little direction of the jet so as you can uh, guess very easy on the LA and uh, the osteoid dysfunction functional MR we have usually both atrium are dilated LV function is almost normal above 50 percent EF and the jet is uh, usually centric uh, concentric in the ischemic it can be dependent of asymmetry or uh, symmetric it can be uh, jet ex eccentric or concentric central or lateral usually or medial very lately that is different story uh, lv function has dropped depending of the other process uh, other finding like the synchrony wall motion abnormality all those stuff the most important we have to remember when we are following up the patient or dealing with the patient functional mr or even non-functional doesn't matter both of them the MR is a dynamic process, so any change in preload, afterload, heart rate, blood pressure, contractility of the LV, everything is effect amount of MR. So whenever you evaluate, consider all those parameters that affect. And final, for treatment, for the ischemic, the general approach for ischemia plus if those patients, they have the synchrony, maybe CRT help them in the in some cases uh, depending of the many factor maybe mitral valve clip to help them too for laa fib especially uh, a fib the most important uh, approach is converting to the sinus rate it's helped a lot for the prognosis management and all those complication of la and the other option depending each of them what other parameter is for example if it goes to the too much high la uh, size in those cases more anoplasty and uh, more aggressive treatment may be helpful it is very hard to finish such topic in five minutes oh my gosh we are done uh, see you next time have a wonderful time